Pumpkin Prince trophy. All right. We've got one more of these. For now, where are we going to end up next? Let's find out. I'm low on health. Like, what? What is hitting me? This one seems like quite the goal, but. Uh, we're back to portal three. Okay. Oh my goodness, man! This is like what? And this, this, this goes on forever. Jeez. I probably need to like change my gummy ship possibly. Maybe put some more armor and stuff on it. I wish the controls were a little bit more easier to use on this. Like the the button to fire the rocket is on triangle, whereas the slowdown button is X. So you kind of kind of try and like hold your entire hand over all of the buttons to be able to do it properly. That's why I use keyboard and mouse. Uh, I'm not sure this game has great support for keyboard and mouse on PlayStation 4. <laughs> yeah, they make uh, keyboard and mice for uh, consoles. I've got, I've got a uh, setup, but I don't have PlayStation. You have an Xbox at one point? Yeah, I got the. Yeah, my daughter's got it. Uh, but I, I got. Here, I got the Xbox One. Series X 725 250. Yeah. Chapter 4, subsection 3. Yeah, that's the one. I don't, yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever the latest one is. Series X S is it? Series X? I I, I don't know. It's, yeah, it's one. It's one of those. I yeah. Yeah, I know how to upgrade the ship, uh, Evan. I know like that's what the parts are for, like for upgrading the ship. But the Legos. Is Disney in Lego? Uh, not yet. Uh, I hope they don't. 
Uh, that was one of the things I never got growing up to play games. I bet it, to be fair though, and this is no disrespect to you, I bet Lego was quite, it was, was relatively new though. I guess when you was kind of like, kid. Wait, Legos? Oh. It's been, I know it's been around since like the 50s and 60s, because, um, Last yeah. time we went to the Lego shop in London, they've got like a big, um, like historical bit upstairs in the store, like going back like when it first um, was introduced. But I can't imagine that it was, I can only imagine it was like be pretty basic though, like about the time you was a kid. Yeah, I mean, they didn't have anything like they, they've had over the decades. Like where where you had like you could buy like Star Wars, uh, you know? Yeah. To make the it was literally just that I that I remember back in seventies uh, was just you you bought. Uh, I mean, I played with them, but I never earned it when I was at a friend's house or something, and. But yeah, they, it was just, you just got a box of them and some flatter pieces, some longer pieces, square pieces, and yada, yada, yada. And you just made whatever you could think of. And then I remember as I got a, a little older, uh, seeing commercials and stuff where you like, you had like clear plastic for windows and you had doors and... just hold that thought a minute to see you again yeah well, where donald and goofy are they that important to you more important than old friends instead of worrying about them you should be asking about her Kyrie. that's right while you were off goofing around i finally found her not so fast no shenanigans aboard my vessel, boy. Riku, why are you siding with the Heartless? The Heartless obey me now, Sora. Now I have nothing to fear. You're stupid! Sooner or later they'll swallow your heart! Not a chance. My heart's too strong. Riku! I've picked up a few other tricks as well. Like this, for instance. <sighs> You can go see your friends now. Ah! Let's get underway already. And keep Sora away from Kyrie until we're ready to land. <laughs> that scurvy brat thinks he can order me around. What shall we do, Captain Hook? Nothing! The hold is crawling with heartless. Let them keep an eye on the brat. But, Captain, you know who is also down. Shh! Did you hear that, Smee? Oh, that dreadful sound. No, Captain. Are you quite sure? Did I imagine it? Oh, my poor nerves. You don't say. Yeah, it was definitely Kyrie. I finally found her. All right. <laughs> yep. Well, let's go up and talk to her. Yeah. Sounds good. I'll get in my car. How about get lost? Hmm. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> How you doing there? Looking for a way out? It's Peter Pan. I'm the answer to your prayers. <laughs> okay, then. Fine. Have it your way. But you're stuck in here too, aren't you? Huh. Nope, I'm just waiting for someone. Who? Tinkerbell, what took you so long? Great job. So you found Wendy? Hold on. There was another girl there too? Are you crazy? There's no way I'm gonna leave Wendy there. Uh -huh. She must be bringing trouble. <laughs> C 
Come on, Tink. Open up the door. <clears throat> hmm. I'm Peter Pan. I'm Sora. Okay. We're in this together, but only till we find Wendy. Oh, Peter Pan is a bit of a... Seems like a bit of an arsehole. Honest. Always has been. I'm with you, I agree with you, Papyrus. Uh, I'm not sure that I really want to uh, try it for the sake of trying. So anyway, if you can remember uh, your tangent you was on, Deathwish, please continue. Ah, oh, just about like it's no big. <laughs> Do you guys have um, Meccano? I don't know if it was just a British thing or not. Uh, spell it. Uh, M E C H A N O. Okay, like, okay, like Mac. But yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, gotcha. All right. No. Um, never heard of that. But yeah, that was like a British toy. Um, similar sort of thing. Well, I say similar sort of thing, but similar to sort of like Lego, in like you'd buy a kit and you build something. Um, but Meccano was um, notorious for, in their instructions, actually making mistakes in their instructions so that um, <laughs> kids would have to work it out themselves. Ah, nice. Uh, they say that was a feature, not a bug. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we, we've had, uh, like, I think back in the 80s, there were some companies, 80s, 90s, whatever, uh, there are some companies that started making Lego-type products. Yeah. And obviously they had to be different enough, otherwise they'd be sued into yep. uh oblivion but uh yeah but nobody's been able to compete with lego i mean they've they just they've just had the market wrapped up and anybody that's coming along they just said okay have have fun with your attempt yeah nobody nobody's gonna want your crap uh, you might make a few bucks, uh, a few hundred thousand. We're making tens of millions. And yeah. But yeah, there was, a, I saw something, uh, it was probably last year where they, like, uh, it was, uh, somebody went to, and it was on YouTube. It was, can't remember who it was, uh, but it was like, Kind of like uh, Veritasium or Mark Rober. Uh one of, one of those guys uh, that that went to they they got to go into the Lego uh, like HQ. Uh, yeah, like yeah, 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 headquarters and uh, uh, they had a you know. Uh, kind of like a museum, uh, as well as their their actual. Uh, uh, they actually had a, a space that had every single kit they have ever made. Yeah, and and it was in like as you walk down the aisle, it was it was in order of you know newest oldest uh yeah you know, whatever depending on which way you walk with uh yeah yeah and it's like holy crap because they 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 only had like one of each one at least that i could tell uh they said every single thing they've ever released from day one the present and it's like Wow. 
I mean, it's quite impressive, but man, are they expensive. Yeah. It's um, definitely over the years. It's not it's not a cheap thing to uh, to buy anymore. Nah. Uh, I mean, I, I was presently surprised because we, we enjoy going to um, Legoland, the Legoland theme park over here. It's like one of our favorite places to go. Um, and I really expected like Legoland for the prices to be really inflated. Um, but actually, they, they just charge the same as any other retailer, which I was quite surprised about. Even the same in the um, Lego store in Leicester Square in London. It's the sort of place that I would hold, like totally expect them to inflate the prices but no they're yeah. actually uh they actually price it pretty um pretty decently same as everywhere else so yeah i think in uh, california there's a, a lego park yeah or like, like lego land or whatever and obviously i've never been but uh I've seen it on video, and and they bring people in that have, that are like Lego masters and yeah, build yeah. The craziest crap and like these statues and all this kind of stuff and it's like insane what what people can do with uh, Lego blocks and uh, yeah that that Star Wars ship you're speaking of. Evan, uh, I remember when it, I kind of remember when it came, first came out, when they got, uh, uh, they, they, you know, got rights to do Star Wars stuff, which Disney now owns. Speaking of this, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they. That, I think that kit. Yeah, the last the last I remember, which has been a long time ago, it was like two hundred and some or uh, like twenty, like maybe two feet across at the longest. Yeah, that that kind of size, but that's seven hundred. Yeah, I, I don't know anything about that. I just remember the the one that was about the size of a. I don't think it's something. But yeah, about, about like two foot. Uh, uh, I don't know how many millimeters or centimeters that is. But yeah, uh, twenty four inches. Uh, 48, like 40, 40 centimeters, maybe. Seems about right. I don't know. Swear down that door was not open before. Uh, anyway, back to, um, just to deviate slightly from our conversation, um, back to like, the story, it was like, completely saw it coming that um, Riku was now the bad guy. Uh, one thing I'm quite interested to um, uncover the truth about, though, is um, Mickey. I don't know what's happened to Mickey. Like, we haven't seen Mickey Mouse since the beginning of the, of the game. Kind of like went off to do something important and hasn't been back since. So, interesting to see uh, where Mickey Mouse is going to fit into this. I was going to actually ask you about that earlier. I was like, what, what happened to Mickey? But yeah, apparently. We literally saw him like right at the beginning of the game and that was it. So, yeah, yeah I think it was, it was pretty obvious that um, Riku was like the bad guy. Especially considering that he got like consumed by the Heartless at the beginning, if I remember rightly. So then you kind of like just see him rolling around like nothing was wrong. You could kind of tell by the way he was, his character was acting that he'd been 
it's like compromise, I guess you say, by Elizabeth. Can't say her name. I don't understand though why he kind of went the way he did. Um, thinking that Sora didn't care about uh, Kyrie anymore. That's. Um, I guess he kind of just saw Sora with Donald and Goofy and was like, oh, you don't care about uh, us anymore. You've moved on. So, kind of um, turns his heart a little bit jealous, I guess. And that's why he's um, not controlling or able to manipulate the Heartless like he is. So, that's my take on it, anyway. I also kind of have it in a, a hunch, like in the back of my head, that the reason the uh, they took Kyrie in the first four places, maybe she is, though she's not really one of the seven, um, one of the seven princesses. Dwarves. Uh, did who used to be friends, Evan? Mickey was definitely at right at the beginning of the game. Before he was introduced to Donald and Goofy. I have a trivia question. Do you know what Mickey Mouse's original name was? Uh, I don't know. Anybody in chat know? Uh, uh, Google is too easy. It's uh, Steamboat Willie. Oh, that's right. Uh, I did know that, actually. Now that you've said the name. Chosen ones. There are seven, supposedly. And Maleficent says she's not one of them. Hoist anchor as soon as possible. Leave all the dead weight behind, including her. After the trouble of capturing her? And why those seven? What is Maleficent planning anyway? Who knows? As long as it means getting Kyrie's heart back, I couldn't care less. <laughs> You're wasting your time. The Heartless have devoured that girl's heart. I'll stake the other hand, it's lost forever. I will find it, no matter what. Uh, Captain? What? The yes, Evan. The prisoners have escaped. What's more, Peter Pan is with them. <sighs> Blast that Peter Pan. All right, then. Bring the hostage to me cabin, Smee. Hop to it. What is it, Tink? Peter? Peter Pan? Wendy! Please, hurry! The pirates are coming! What? I'll be right up there. Just hold on! Wendy? Yes? Is there another girl in there with you? Oh, why, yes. But she seems to be asleep. She hasn't budged an inch. Kyrie? Kyrie! Hey, let's get up there. So, um, that was that was interesting. Like, um, so they've obviously captured Wendy, thinking she was one of the seven that Maleficent wants, um, but she wasn't. But also, it's like I think Captain Hook alluded onto something there that I um, had thought about in the back of my mind, where um, clearly. She's using um, Kyrie as like a tool to manipulate Riku even more. Um, she seems to have like already taken her heart, but like Captain Hook says, you know, there's you, you're not going to get that back. So, yeah, I think Riku's being strung along on false promises from Maleficent, um, just so that he will help. He can help her to do whatever she wants him to do. Like I capture the. 
seven princesses um, for what she needs to do. So, yeah, I mean, it's not looking too good for uh, Kari. I'll be honest, she looks like a bit of a zombie. Um, and to answer your question, Evan, yeah, Riku and Sora were friends, like right at the beginning of the game, if you remember, uh, when they're on their actual home planet island. They're obviously facing off and um, competing against each other all the time. So they're competitive, but yeah, they are friends. So, um, anywho. Yeah, if I recall correctly, I think Steam Boot really has it's been a short term character for that ad. Okay. I look that back up where it got changed to Mickey Mouse and came, you know, like. The main Disney character of all characters. But yeah, I'd have to look up history on that again. See, I'm just just remembering. Uh, Chris, is that the one that you said that you was writing like it was a completely different style and that you was a bit worried about how it would be perceived? Because if so, that's pretty pretty good going. A nice job for a fan to kind of reread re your comment by so yeah. Yeah, you, you underestimate yourself too much. That's just my opinion. I think you don't give yourself enough credit. Ship is like a proper maze. In my book, you gotta take risks. Otherwise, how are you gonna advance yourself? That's it. I mean, if you don't try new things, then you'll never know. And I'm sure you're glad now that you took that risk and tried something different. Yeah, people, if people didn't take risks. Their thoughts and things, whether it's science or writing or you name it, we wouldn't have a lot of things we have today. Agreed. Especially when, uh, you, you know, you believe in yourself on something, in your ideas, and you let other people talk you out of them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's that's a no go for me. That means uh, they're not my friends. They're not anybody that, uh, at least that I would want to discuss anything that I had to do what I was interested in doing. So, it's like something like that, yeah. You know. Yeah, it seems, uh, it definitely does seem uh, a bit of a maze, this, this area, I don't know. 
I'll agree on that. But use again, your, I think use your chainsaw. Case, I think it's just a case of being a little bit more observant. Just notice there that gap in the fence there that we can jump through. So. Little safe spot. Nice. Yeah, it's kind of like a lattice. Got a Trinity here as well. Let's change up the party quickly. Okay, so that just leads through to there. That's okay. Wow, screwed over by the camera angle. I love that. I do kind of wish in places with this that the um, camera angles were a little bit easier to manipulate. thing I have to say about that, uh, Porphyrus, is that that means you're, uh, pushing yourself, um, going further. And as long as you're not in your comfort zone, you're progressing. Genie yet, so it's quite interesting. Yeah, is that Shaq? <laughs> That's right, it was Robin Williams. Who, who was him. split into two. The old how many bosses have done this in games before where they split off into multiple targets and it's like which is the real one? Ever. Hey hypes Oh, hypes, what's going on, buddy? Welcome along. Why the sub base? And Donald is like down. That's why I'm not getting the heels. best environment to move around in either. No. With like all the tables and walls and crap. Just hanging out, thought you'd pop in. Well, appreciate it. Welcome along. Thanks for popping in. I'm not going to climb up there just yet because there is... We didn't fully explore down here. Kind of got thrust into that, like, and I wasn't 
hundred percent ready for it. Wendy, are you in there? Yeah, it's something I've been I've been like wanting to play for a long time, and I never really knew if I'd enjoy this sort of game, um, like an action RPG. But after playing the um, the Final Fantasy VII remake, I was kind of like, yeah, I, I think I'll enjoy it. So, yeah, I've only just sort of started my journey. Have you played? Have you you've not? Have you not played like all the in between games? You've just literally played uh, one and two. All right, let's sort ourselves out here a little bit. <laughs> yeah, there, there, there is a few. There is a few things in between. Give Donald our high potions. Actually, quite low on items here, which is um, a little bit yikes. Yeah, I've I've heard that um, it it does get better when you as you move on. So I'm quite excited to be uh, to get around to the others and been playing those. All right, let's give this another go then. stopping in Donald but like seriously I can't attack when they're stopped so there really is no point to stopping them Donald to use and stop and then I just go and do exactly the same thing. Teaching you. The student is becoming the master. Do it some um, ethers if anyone's got one to uh, spare. Boom, there we go. Oh, I didn't realize that. Did not realize. That's interesting. Raven's Claw. One thing I should probably, I should have probably looked at though is I should have looked at like my equipment that I've got. I'm sure, I've probably got some better defensive items. Hey, more damage. All right, let's go and do a quick little save for heals us. I'd recommend the crossbow. Crossbow? Yeah. Uh, not sure. I was thinking more about the crowbar. That too. Sidearm. A raven's claw reduces dark damage. That could be uh, use. 
That sounds legit. Switch to that, but we'd lose two ability points. Um, no, I think I'm just going to, I think I'm just not going to watch them on stream. Uh, I had this discussion with my son the other day, actually, about it, like the movies. Um, I don't think I will do them on stream, but I don't know. I might change my mind when I get to them. Um, we'll see. I've got to remove abilities first. Okay, we'll leave it as it is, I think, for now. Have got any abilities that I can... Sorry, I was just cutting you off. Ah, no. You're fine. I was just going to say for fear since crowbar is safer than shotgun, but that depends on who they're aimed at. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? If they're aimed at head crabs, then... I may just do that then. I may just uh, watch them on uh, on stream. But like I say, we're gonna be we're, we're quite a way off uh, all of those. That's for sure. We've got quite a way to go before we get to any of the, uh, the films. I think. I'm going to go on to... I'm going to do all the in-betweens before I move on to Kingdom Hearts 2, so... it will be interesting. Wait, there's like... Wait, so you like you've got Wendy and then you're just gonna leave me? Thanks, Peter Pan. That looks a nice bit of equipment. Oh Goofy's already got one. Got five of them? Jeez. need a degree just to understand the whole like ordering and the freaking names of Kingdom Hearts games. To be fair. Yeah, that's like a lot of games. It's, uh, the, the thing with Kingdom Hearts, though, Death Wish, is mainly just the thing what confuses a lot of people is the way that they're named. Yeah, I mean, I just. It makes me think of. Like, uh, oh, also, hi, thank you very much for the follow. Like... I just, just noticed the follow. Thank you very much, buddy. I appreciate it. Thank you. All. Good to have you on board. Continue, Death Wish. I was just saying, like, I, I just think of games like classics, well, like, uh, off with that girl uh you, you know, like, uh, run off where? Tell me, where did he go? To the ruins of Hollow Bastion, where Maleficent resides. Uh, but you won't be going there.
Unless you intend to leave your little pixie friend behind. Hand over the Keyblade and I'll spare your lives. I'm glad I'm merciful, unlike the hard words. So, which will it be? The Keyblade or the Plank? The Plank. I'll take my chances. It is the crocodile that took me hand. Oh, Smee, he's after me other hand. I can't stay here. Go away. Oh, I can't stand the sight of him. Me, you take care of them. Sora, just believe, and you can do it. What's the blink? Thanks, Peter. Hey, don't mention it. You didn't think I'd leave you and Tink behind, did you? You gave that impression, Peter, I'll be honest. You obtained the power of healing. You're turned into Cura. All right, Goofy, you're out again. Uh, we're bringing Peter in. The Neverland saw and his friends can fly. While jumping, press circle to fly, then press circle. Oh, it's so it's Pretty much like the controls in Atlantis, uh, which I hated. Community has been crucial for you, Furious. Pondered this because next year you've been doing an awesome community for five years. Well, I'm glad that you've been along for the ride, but in uh, I'm glad that you know we could be here for you and uh, help you on your journey through uh, university and, and bits and pieces. So. Uh, yeah, thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Yeah, glad you got that out of it. It's, it's absolutely driven me nuts. <laughs> I have, I have like six different counselors I have to see nine days a week. Okay, I guess this is where like the flying comes into it. Because now we have flying enemies, so. You're Peter Pan. From rags to riches. I guess it's a. Uh, I guess get an achievement for over 10,000 uh, money. What is going on here? Little pirate boat? Jeez. Thank you very much for the gift sub to Perfurious. Oh, nice. Thank you very much indeed, Hypes. Appreciate that. Is that you, Perfurious, Did you enjoy your off? tier one sub. Hi, Captain. They walked the plank, every last one of them. <laughs> Ready to make a splash, you codfish? Now it's your turn to walk the plank. It's awesome. Yeah. All right, let's hook. Yeah. 
Uh... Yeah, this is what I like hated about Atlantis, like this whole flying thing, dodging around. I guess it's quite nice that I can just evade a little bit. Like fly away to avoid the action. Where's that shit? I want to get rid of this shit. I think the like attacking the ship is worth it because it seems like it just comes back again, so we'll do it anyway, because I think it could potentially help. Not gonna get um Bad, but yeah, I probably should have uh, kept an eye on the health bar there. Yeah, I do occasionally do speed runs like of a few games. Um, I wouldn't say I'm like um, overly competitive with it. I would say it's more like if I enjoy a game and I kind of want to try attempt to do it fast, I'll do it. But um, more of a case just that I see how quickly I can do it. Except for uh, me, boy. <laughs> me, boy. No. <laughs> but yeah, I'd be I'd be interested to um, have a look at like speedruns. I'm always interested, like games that I've played that are like, um, like a long, uh, like that are quite a long game. I'm always quite interested to see how they're done quickly. Um, so uh, yeah. All right, let's have another attempt or two maybe at this. And then we will, um, getting quite late here, so we might have to call it a night and come back to it when we return to uh, stream next week. What are you talking about? It's not even a quarter after seven yet. Ha. <laughs> not even uh, a quarter after seven. Yeah, uh, that's right. You guys in the future, man, with your flux capacitors. We just don't have that over here. Although, uh, I'm I'm three hours ahead of the west coast of the United States. But yeah, I don't have a time difference like that. In the UK. No. Our small little island don't need multiple time zones. <laughs> yeah, you're in... You're in Western, or, yeah, Western, uh, German time zone. Eastern is six hours ahead. Of me, it should be one thirteen in the morning. Yeah. All right, time zones fine. They are when you've only got one to remember and one to worry about. <laughs> Uh, I, I know I know people from all over the world, and 
Uh, I have to try to remember. Uh, where they're from. <clears throat> Especially if they don't use. If they keep changing their usernames to crap, then they lose me. Sometimes, sometimes I just get really weird in certain places. Because they're not just vertical straight lines down the globe, they zigzag. Yeah, it's really bizarre. It's like you look at like other countries who are on the same time zone as us. And... Um, you look at like where they are in proportion to like we'll be here and they'll be like offset to the left yet they're still on the same freaking time zone as us it's crazy yeah um you thought time zones would just be like okay this i know like the the world is curved but even still it doesn't like zigzag out to the left and the right does it yeah um, like in, in the united states you can have uh different uh, depending on where you are, you can literally go north or south and change change time zones, or east and west and change time zones, and they would be the same two time zones you're changing places with. Yeah, you know it, it's you know just because of the way it's like why it is what it is, and and. Uh, yeah, I've talked to people that live like literally right on the line. Like if, if like geographically, if you went, they, they could walk next door and be in a different time zone. Yeah. And it's like, how, how do you deal with that? And yeah. It's, you just do and it becomes a thing and it's but well, yeah it's weird it's like like i said literally your next door neighbor could be in a different time zone than you yeah. <laughs> or their locations and it's like hey it's uh gotta go to bed it's it's 10 o'clock here i know it's only nine o'clock for you uh 50 feet away <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. That's what really threw me when I went to um, uh, Ireland. I went like in January, so like the the days are pretty short anyway. But because they're so um, west of our time zone, it was like it, it didn't get light in the morning until like really late to what I'm compared to. It just really threw me. Like in the winter here, it'll be like it'll probably be light by sort of like eight eight o'clock at the very latest. But in Ireland, it was like getting on nine o'clock because they're like right on the edge of the time zone. It was, it was bizarre. Couldn't get my head around it at all. Then it gets even weirder if you're uh, further north or further south. You know, like yeah. where, you know, like towards the poles, they, like all the time zones they overlap. And but then that's where like, even in like Northern Finland, or Porpheus, or Porphyrius, sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, you have, depending on how far north you are, you, know, you get months with nothing but daytime, and then months with nothing but darkness. Yeah, uh, that would wreck me if I couldn't travel. Yeah, like I could, I could deal with the, like it being daytime all the time, uh, but I couldn't deal with it being night all the time. I mean, unless I was forced to, but, but yeah, I mean, I could, because like it, you know, I could get to bed and you know. Like I have here, I mean, I got blackout curtains and that sort of thing, so 
I'll have night time as long as I want. Yeah. It would still, either way, it would still definitely mess with your Arcadia with them. Alright, so. Second phase is a little bit annoying. My support characters are getting absolutely wrecked. Almost down to the final health gate though here, which is good. magic now so I can't do any more reviving there the of the way there lock on pull out the laser got it missile Almost got him. Almost got him. Come on. Come on. Come on. One more shot. Come on, Peter. Get him. Yeah. What? No! Are what? you for real? Oh, my God. He was like literally like the tiniest bit of health bar left. I, I mean, you went, you went out like let your guys take care of it, and then you come back in and it's like, oh, okay. geez. well, I'm gonna have to leave it there for tonight anyway. Um, but on a positive, well, we've we we know the strategy and we know yeah, do that how, again. Just... How to take this guy down? Yeah. So um, yeah, that's well, uh. Good man. Uh, anyway, thank you very much, everybody, for hanging tonight, and um, I really appreciate it. Let's just see if there is anyone else around that I can quickly throw a raid to. Uh, it's ice. I know. I guess not because that would make the ice. Right. Yeah. Good night, Al. So yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in. I appreciate it. Uh, we'll be back again next week where we will continue on uh, our Kingdom Hearts quest. I think we're closing in towards the, the end of the game now, which is quite nice as well. Um, but yeah, thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in, for the new follows. Thank you very much, Hypes, for the gifted sub to Perfirius as well. Really do appreciate that. Have a good rest of the day, guys. And until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Take care. Stay safe. All the usual jazz. And until next time, happy gaming. Bye, guys.